Hi everybody, this is Tom Clements from Missouri and uh, I'm out here today to show you guys a little bit of the discs here for my background information. I've been playing Frisbee um, for about 10 years, just under 10 years now, five in competitions and about five uh, as doing shows, Frisbee dog shows and such. So one of the most important questions I'm always asked at almost every single show or during competitions is, Tom, what kind of disc to use? So I thought someday I'll just put all the discs that I know that they use in Frisbee Dogs uh, competition and, and um, demos and stuff, put them all together and then talk about each one. It's very, very important that you use the right disc. It's the, to me, it's one of the most important things. You don't want to associate this sport with pain. So you want to use a disc that's very safe on your dog. It won't break off their teeth and that's pliable. And um, so I got a bunch of those discs out here. I'm going to show them to you one by one. And then as a little extra added bonus, there's a lot of controversy, not controversy, a lot of discussions about what is the best disc. And so I'm going to show you what I think is the um, best discs out there and the most durable ones and uh, what ones last the longest. And I'm going to show each one of those with two of my very rough on disc dogs. I call them the Dissogators. And we're going to see, you know, what kind of damage they can do, if any, to some of these newer discs that are supposed to be um, unpuncturable. Now i got to explain why I look like a banana today. I am, uh, I live in Missouri and it is an area where there's a lot of older folks and so I don't like to be hit by cars so I make sure I, I dress really brightly and that way they see me and I don't get hit. And plus I hear Tom Worley and Bob Evans is traveling across the country together and I think maybe they might be driving through my area today and I want to make sure those two fellas see me and don't accidentally hit me. Although I think if either one sees me they'll go out of their way to hit me so maybe I should camouflage it next time. Anyways, we're going to get going here in a second. Thanks for coming out and we'll show you these discs here in a second. Oh, here's the discs I brought out today. I don't have them all but um, I think this is a pretty much, this will cover most of the discs that are being used out there today. First one right there is one of my personal favorites. It's an Aerobi Super Disc. The next one there, that's a Super Flex from um, Frisbee or Whammo. And uh, that's been destroyed a little bit. That's the only flex that I happen to have. This is, boy, one of my favorite discs in the world is a soft bite floppy disc. They are great. I'll tell you more about those. The next disc is just your typical, this one's a glow in the dark um, fastback by Whammo. The next one is a regular fastback by Whammo. The next one, that yellow one, that's Hyperflights K10. Those are nice discs. The next one right next to that is the Hero 235. And then the one next to that is the Hyperflight Jaws. And the next one next to that, this is Hero's um, uh, entry into the unpuncturable, well, I don't know if they call it unpuncturable, but um, one of the discs that's supposed to outlast them all. This is the brand new Hero, it's called the uh, Super Hero or the canine candy and then right next to that is just one of those cheap discs that you get at the fairs and at amusement parks that they just give away or you can buy at the um, pet smarts and pet co's and stuff like that for about 99 cents and i just thought i'd brought, bring one out and show you the um, likes and dislikes about discs like that and that very last one is a mini disc all right we're going to take one at a time and i'll tell you a little Okay, this is an Aerobi Super Disc. Now, Aerobi makes a few other discs too, and they do make one for dogs, specifically for dogs. It's called the Doggo Bee, but I think that the Aerobi Super Disc is the perfect disc for a dog. I like them a lot. I use them all the time, and it's no secret that I'm sponsored by them, but um, I'm a very honest person. So I'm going to tell you, this is one of my favorite discs, and the reason why is the edge. The edge is rubber totally rubber if you've never seen one before and the centerpiece is plastic and when my dogs do damage to these things and the dog's going to damage almost any disc out there when they do the damage to them for whatever reason the damage doesn't go to the edge too often of course every once in a while they get to the edge but all the damage goes to the center ring and as long I found out as long as that ring the outer edge ring stays intact this thing will fly no matter how many holes is in that middle part it doesn't cut their gums 
or they're uh, hurt their teeth because of that rubber edge and they are very pliable. I love them. Problem with them though is they don't skip very well because of that rubber edge grabs the grass. And if you like to spin on disc on disc, they don't do that very very well either because that edge is really rubbery and it just grabs. I have been able to, to spin one on top of the other if the disc was wet, but we don't want to do that. So here is a fastback frisbee. It's been damaged. I've been training my pit bull how to play frisbee and uh, she's been destroying these things. It's a super flex and it's a fastback. It's, uh, fastbacks is the type of disc that I've used when I first got involved in the sport. Um, they're great discs, nothing wrong with them, except that my dogs are, who are super, super hard on discs will destroy these things after about five throws. Um, any kind of fastback model disc, I don't care what it is. The thing about super flexes are they're made with a different type of material other than the regular fastback plastic, and they're supposed to not break in cold climates. So if you live out here in the Midwest, this may not be a bad disc to have because in cold climates, a regular fastback will actually shatter. All right. Now I talked to you a little bit about these. These are your floppy discs. If you have a dog that will not take to the sport and um, just doesn't, doesn't want nothing to do with the Frisbee, I find out more often than not that this will get their attention. I think because it's like a toy. It's like a little plush toy. It folds up and they can flop it around like a dead animal. And uh, my, that's how I got my pit bull. My pit bull wanted nothing to do with the Frisbee. I showed her one of these and she loved it. She was catching them in the air and everything. I let her play with this for a couple of weeks. And then I went to a harder disc, a regular fastback, and it was easy to switch over to go from this to the harder one. And uh, now I got her playing Frisbee regular, so it's turned out awesome. They're also great for young dogs. They're so soft and pliable, they won't break off little baby teeth, you know, and I really highly recommend that you use this kind of disc on a young pup that still has its puppy teeth because uh, the harder ones may break off their teeth. And again, it's very important that you don't associate this sport with any kind of pain. Alrighty? This is a glow-in-the-dark fastback. Um, like I said, this is what I got started in the sport. I like them. The edges are rounded. There's no ridge or anything that, that can harm the dog's teeth or gums. Um, they are a little bit pliable. They're a little stiffer. And uh, they fly great. They're great discs. Nothing wrong with them. I like them a lot. It's just that I go through probably a thousand of these a, a year because uh, I can only get off about five throws before the dogs start tearing off their rims and stuff. Great discs. You can get them in bulk for about a buck. 50 or whatever at the various um, frisbee stores and stuff and uh, you can find those online and um, get the um, the what do you call those uh, the discarded ones get the discarded discs the ones where the logo got messed up a little bit and uh, uh, they can't sell them like brand new they have to sell them as discards and you can get them for about a buck fifty each by whammos awesome disc. this is about what four or five years ago hyperflight peter bloom um, got together and they decided to, to make a new disc because Fastback had pretty much taken over the whole business or the whole frisbee dog world so they worked on getting another disc out there and they came up with this. This is called a K10. A lot of like the Fastback, slightly smaller, um, not, not much different than a Fastback. There is a little ridge here on top, a little finger gripping just like the Fastback and there's one underneath and I don't believe the Fastback has one underneath. I don't know if that makes any difference. Like, doesn't matter to me where those grippy things are one way or another. Um, they're a great disc. Hyperflight again, awesome disc. Just a couple years ago, Hero came out with some discs. Hero is a company that started in Japan and uh, they have a great disc. It's actually the closest thing to a fastback that you find out there. And I hear that the mold that they use to make these Heroes, this is a Hero 235, made specifically for dogs. Um, the mold that they use to make these Hero 235s is an older Frisbee Fastback mold. I guess they sold those molds to various companies and Hero has one and they made um, uh, this disc out of it. It's, it's so close to a Fastback it's very very hard to tell that there is a difference between the two but there is just a slight difference in size. Okay now all of us canine competitors and performers have been complaining for years that somebody's got to come out with a disc that will last a long, longer than five throws. Well, Hyperflight's done that, and they come out with the Jaws model. And uh, they're much more expensive. All these discs pretty much are the same price range unless you buy them in bulk. Um, the Aerobi Super Disc 
is pretty expensive, but uh, like I said, it lasts longer than most other regular discs. But these are puncture resistant. Um, they're supposed to last a long time. I know that they do because I used one throughout my entire summer, about 300 shows last year, um, with one of my dogs that, that's pretty tough on discs. I just used it for her reward. Uh, I did play fr um, freestyle with it. But anyways, I uh, they're pretty good discs. They're a little heavier than a fastback. Um, I'm going to throw one a couple times out here today and it's a little breezy so I'm really interested to see how they fly in the wind because they are a little heavier so they may not loft so well. I'm not going to say that they're not good for freestyle because there is a world champion that uses nothing but these so obviously they must be pretty good for freestyle but uh, I don't know. I don't use them that way but we're going to throw a few today and see just what kind of damage we can do if any to this disc. Alrighty and now Hero came out with a disc that's comparable to the Jaws. Pretty much the same theory. It's um, puncture resistant. Um, they're both flexible. This one seems, let's see, they're about the same size actually. The superhero seems a little bit bigger than the Jaws. Um, I don't know the weights. I'm not into the, that much of the specifics like weights and stuff. I like to just see the proof in the pudding. Let's throw the thing and see how they fly. We're going to be throwing this one too. Same thing. They are called the Canine Candy. I think they're cool looking. Uh, so we're going to give that one a shot today. This is Hero's attempt at the puncture resistant disc too. And like I said, I brought out two dogs today. We're going to see just how puncture resistant they are. And um, thanks to Steve out there in California at Hero for sending me a few to test. Now, finally, or second to the last here, is one of those cheapo discs that they give you, you know, as uh, promotional campaigns at fairs and festivals and stuff like that. And you can get these things for like 99 cents at um, Pet Smarts and stuff. But Mary, can you zoom in real close here to this disc? Now, what I don't like about these things is this side of them. This edge is very, very sharp. Plus, it's got these little rivets and little things that they use in the mold to put these things together. They don't bend very easily. They're very, very stiff. I do not recommend these at all. These are going to break teeth off. They're going to cut gums. They're going to cut tongues. They're just very, very dangerous discs. They're cheap, yes, but to me, it's not worth it. You know, why would you hurt your dog? You know, um, you want to associate the sport with um, having fun, going out there and having a good time. You don't want to hurt your pup. And if you cut their um, uh, gums and tongue or break off a tooth or something, then you're just going backwards. You're just going to turn the dog off to the sport, and that's what we don't want to do. And last but le least, you got a Chihuahua or something like that. You can learn how to throw these little things. This is really, um, it's like a, a shrunken fastback. It's almost identical to a fastback, uh, but they're just really small. Um, they're good for promotional stuff. I, I wouldn't throw it to a regular dog because I think they'll swallow them. <laughs> but a little baby dog, maybe a little puppy or something, you want to get them involved and get them a little toy, get them excited, and you don't want to intimidate them with a bigger disc. Ah, try one of these. They're, you can find them at all those um, disc um, selling stores, you know, uh, Discovering the World and the Right Life and places like that. So uh, this is a little mini disc if you've ever heard about those and a lot of people like to collect them. Alrighty, so that's it. I'm going to go get a couple dogs. We're going to test the canine candy today and the jaws. Throw about five each to each one of my dogs, Taylor and Fiesta. And we're going to see just what kind of damage, if any. And we'll see how they fly in this condition. It's a little windy, not too bad. We'll throw downwind and we'll throw upwind too. Bye-bye. This is Canine Candy Superhero throwing into the wind. Come on, here we go. Good girl. We're going to throw three into the wind, two downwind. Or two, or two with the wind. Here we go. That's one. Here we go. Go. Get that girl. Good girl. Go, hunty. Not bad for 11 years old, huh? One more. Good girl. Come on, go. Get that girl. Nice job. Okay, that's three into the wind. There's not much of a wind right now. Good girl. Good girl. Nice job. Okay. Okay. Go. Good girl. All right. Do 
one more. Be fair. Ready? Go. Good girl. Okay, that's good. Fiesta. And this is the Jaws. We're going to throw into the wind here. Come on through. Go. Good girl. Come on, Pete. Just for prosperity. Drop, drop, come through. Go. A little better. There we go. Flying Fiesta. Okay, what we're gonna do now, keep filming, Mary. We're gonna switch the dogs. I'm gonna throw five for Taylor with the Jaws, the same Jaws, five for Fiesta with the superhero, and we're gonna see just what these discs look like. So that'd be what? About uh, 10 throws to each dog, five of each disc. So we'll see what kind of damage. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ten, 11 years old, folks. <laughs> and she still got it. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing about a little safety thing here, folks. I, I did go over the field before I played with her. But uh, just so it shows you that sometimes you miss stuff. I just found this sticking straight up. Where did it? It's a bone. I'm not sure. Sticking straight up in the grass. So you wouldn't want your dog falling on that, would you? Put this over here for now. All right, here we go. Taylor is going with the jaws this time. Same disc that Fiesta just had, all right? Here we go. Duke, go. There you go, nice job, T. That's one. Wind's picking up just a little bit. Still a real mild day. Good girl. Come through, go, 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 go. Up there. Yeah, good girl. Good girl! Come through. Good job. That's three. Nice job. A little crash and burn. Okay, two. The wind to my back. Okay, girl. Come through. Go, 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 go. Okay. Seems like I don't know. I I, I want to get the, the canine candy out here. This one seems to be dropping a little quicker. It may just be me. And it's just a matter of getting used to them. But I wasn't. That's the first time I've ever thrown a canine candy. So. That's five, so she did good. Caught all of them, by the way. <laughs> good job, T, good job. All righty. So I am now. Okay, we're gonna show you guys the disc if I can keep Taylor from killing me. Here's the disc after 10 throws with two very, very hardcore on Move disc back. dogs. So here we go. This is the inside. I don't see just a little bit indentations, I mean, just baby little indentations and that's it 10 throws so pretty good this thing I'm sure would last a good few months without probably longer than that They're, they do good um, but you gotta weigh the good with the bad I think you know, they're a little heavy so I don't know uh, yeah I just think if you got used to throwing them they'd be fine so they're a good disc I like it I like it a lot so that was the jaws we're gonna put Taylor up I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go get Fiesta and throw a few with the, that other disc, the canine candy from Hero. Come through, go. Look, look. Good girl. Not too good of a throw. But you got a good dog, they make you look good. Come through, go, 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 go. There we go, get a little thing under there. Oh, another one. I'll do a couple more. Go. 
One more. go with the wind to our back. Again, this is the Hero D9 Scan. Go. There we go. Good girl. I'm going to do one last one with her. Fiesta's getting pooped. Yeah. Filming. Okay, well, we're done with Fiesta and Taylor. Um, pretty much the same amount of damage on the K9 Candy as on the jaw, so um, I, I think they're pretty much even, uh, really not much of a difference. I do notice a little indentation right here, a little deeper than most, but didn't break or didn't really cut the disc, it just kind of like it was a puncture like, but didn't go through, uh, just very small, maybe the size of a pencil uh, eraser, um, but still, uh, let's see, yeah, just pretty much the same little indentations, here's a close up of the disc. And Fiesta's down here now wanting to play. No nope, big problem. I'm going to show you guys something here. Mary, come on, follow me. You guys may know the story about Taylor and the rental car at the um, uh, Incredible Dog Challenge Nationals a few years ago where she, long story short, I left her in the car. Uh, some people decided to play Frisbee in front of the car. She went berserk and she chewed a huge hole about this big into the airbag on the passenger side, chewed off one of the mirrors in there, and um, chewed a big hole in the steering wheel. So you would have thought that I learned a lesson. I had Taylor in here and I was just laying those Frisbees out to show you guys. This is what she did while she was sitting in the car going crazy. All right, here's my seatbelt. Brand mm -hmm. new, $40,000 truck, and now, I'm going to have to pay a fortune to get a new seat belt. Great. So keep your dogs kenneled. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Hope I didn't bore you. Bye-bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Tom Clements from Missouri. And uh, I'm out here today to show you guys a little bit of the discs here for my background information. I've been playing Frisbee um, for about 10 years, just under 10 years now. Five in competitions and about five uh, as doing shows, Frisbee dog shows and such. So one of the most important questions I'm always asked at almost every single show or during competitions is, Tom, what kind of disc to use? So I thought someday I'll just put all the discs that I know that they use in Frisbee Dogs uh, competition and, and um, demos and stuff, put them all together and then talk about each one. It's very, very important that you use the right disc. It's the, to me, it's one of the most important things. You don't want to associate this sport with pain. So you want to use a disc that's very safe on your dog. It won't break off their teeth and that's pliable. And, um, so I got a bunch of those discs out here. I'm gonna show them to you one by one. And then as a little extra added bonus, there's a lot of controversy, not controversy, a lot of discussions about what is the best disc. 
And so I'm going to show you what I think is the um, best discs out there and the most durable ones and uh, what ones last the longest. And I'm going to show each one of those with two of my very rough on disc dogs. I call them the disogators. And we're going to see, you know, what kind of damage they can do, if any, to some of these newer discs that are supposed to be um, unpuncturable. Now I got to explain why I look like a banana today. I am, uh, I live in Missouri and it is an area where there's a lot of older folks and so I don't like to be hit by cars so I make sure I, I dress really brightly and that way they see me and I don't get hit. And plus I hear Tom Worley and Bob Evans is traveling across the country together and I think maybe they might be driving through my area today and I want to make sure those two fellas see me and don't